Hello friends, this is Veronica. I'm back for day five. Can you believe it has been five days of shopping my closet, using my bags in my closet that I haven't used. And the way I'm doing it is I'm going by brand. So I started with Princess Schooler. And to yesterday, I started with um, the next brand, uh, which is Rebecca Minkoff. So today I'm showing you my second Rebecca Minkoff. I think I have five, six maybe. Um, so, I need to look and make sure but today is Rebecca Minkoff day again and when you see my bags now that I'm using them like one every day I'm starting to notice a bit of a trend so here is today's bag I'll give you a little spin this is called the Rebecca Minkoff MAC Mac bag um, morning after clutch so a little history about Rebecca Minkoff she started off in the early 2000s around 2005 she got started because she made a bag for a friend for a movie and I guess that friend loved the bag so much she started using it outside of the movie and um it became sorry I'm just adjusting myself became popular got photographed and people were asking about it and voila she started her handbag um you know she was a designer but that's how she got her start like her um what do they call it her big hit was that morning after bag and then she started making the morning after clutch i, mean, I forgot why she calls it the morning after but we all know what the morning after means right um so anyways this is the clutch um i guess you could use it as a clutch but it does have a strap Again, this is another bag that I wanted years ago, but I didn't want to spend the money. So I actually found this at a Goodwill for like 20 bucks, 19.99. And it was in excellent condition. The inside was clean. Um, it just needed a little bit of clean conditioning. The leather's really, really nice. Um, and this is an older style. I think this is probably one of her first styles. Um, that she came with came out with or addition and i'll tell you why um so there's like a couple little clues because i have some of her newer bags versus her older bags um so let's start off with um i mentioned i love rebecca minkoff's hardware this one is black leather with gold and as you can see she's known for this um clasp dog leash clasp and the reason I think this is an older edition bag is because you can actually clasp it. I have some of her newer bags that have this um, clasp, dog leash, but it's actually a magnet. It's just a button. It doesn't actually, you know, unclasp. It just has a button uh, with a magnet and you just, you know, easier, I guess. But it has a um, zipper pocket here in the front. Uh, my phone fits in here very well and I'll show you the lining very generous pocket with the zipper um, all her zippers do have her name I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it I'm um, in this shade today but it says Rebecca Minkoff there so you clasp it the older ones have this the new ones do not um, this one also has a little bit of tasseling so I was thinking, oh, I could add more tassels to this bag because I have that extra spare. Um, and um, the strap is chain and part chain, part um, leather. So the top part is the leather for comfort. And then the chain, the chain detail is very, very nice. And it's detachable. So I guess that's why you could use it as a clutch. And... Um, look at her hardware so see what i mean edgy different it's kind of like a diamond shape at the top um so um it does fit me cross body a, a little bit shorter than i would like but i could use it fine um no pocket in the back the feet remember i was telling you about feet normally a bag like this doesn't come with feet in other brands but this one has the feet which I like and like I said they're not completely round um, they're kind of hexagon shape I don't know if you're gonna be able to oh maybe there you can see it see so that's a very cool feature on this bag um, zip it open 
um, I think this is, there is a mini morning after clutch. Uh, I believe this is like the medium size or regular size. So another reason why I think this is an older, I still have my PS1, PS clutch, um, PS tote bag pouch. I'm hungry guys, I'm doing this before I eat. But anyways, the reason why I think this is older because I remember some of her older bags had um, this, the other one I showed you was just leather. It didn't have the metal part and it has this print. A lot of her newer ones are just like more plain black interior, not like fun little um, prints inside. And this is like a canvas material. Um, it has the little um, slot here for cards. It has a zipper pocket in the back, um, you know, good size pocket, zipper, and then it has two front um, slip pockets there with, and, and you can see the detail of the leather here, not just on the outside, but here too, you know, and the interior was actually very clean when I got it. Um, and this was a made in the USA bag. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show you guys, but made in the USA, which I don't think her new bags are made in the USA anymore. Um, I have some of the newer ones that I'll share in the next coming days. But that's one of the reasons why I think this is an older bag from, I would say, I wanna say before 2010, maybe seven eight nine around there I'm not exactly sure because like i said i bought it at the goodwill thrift shop but this is a fun bag um you know i'm it's casual friday today so i'm using it for work but i've used this you know weekends going out it's a good size it's big but it's not huge i could fit good a lot of good stuff in here um and like i said i don't know if you're noticing the theme I think I have a lot of black bags so you might not see too many colorful bags in my um, videos but I'm gonna share them all I have a couple uh, but the ones I love and use the most are my black leather bags so this is a Rebecca Rebecca Minkoff morning after clutch one of her older bag styles which I think they might not even make anymore I'm not 100% sure um, I'm the type of person that gets a little hyper focused once I love a brand. I was like all about Rebecca Mink Coffee years ago. You know, I got a couple bags in a row and then I kind of discovered another brand. And not that I forgot about it, but I kind of put it to the side and, and started using those other brands. But if you're interested, look them. You could find these very relatively affordable, under a hundred bucks. I've seen some of these bags for like $30, $40. I bought this one for $20, just, you know, kind of check the quality. But overall, these bags are good quality. And by quality, I mean like if it's dirty or scratched up or the person took care of it. Whoever donated this bag to Goodwill was in very, very good condition. Like I said, I just kind of conditioned it a little bit. Maybe needs a little more conditioning. The hardware was not scuffed up. It came with, um, you know, everything except the dust bag. But um, yeah, it's a very fun bag. I love it. I get quite a few compliments on this bag. And it's kind of like, if you know, you know, you can't really tell it's Rebecca Minkoff unless you know about her design and her details. It doesn't have a whole lot of branding on it, which I kind of enjoy. So again, if you're enjoying these videos, you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And tomorrow I'll be back with day six. Um, with another Rebecca Minkoff bag. Okay, guys, gotta go eat my lunch. Um, hope you have a wonderful weekend and we'll see you on the next video.